Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a project share today. I have have created some match bo uh, boxes, these little ones. Um, I did five. <laughs> Got a little bit carried away there, but they're beautiful. I'm really, really happy with them. They turned out so cute. Um, as you can see, I have the Graphic 45 paper line here, Sweet Sentiments. It is so adorable. I've been looking at your videos online, um, those of you who have used this paper and made beautiful cards and uh, all types of stuff. Uh, I saw a heart-shaped box that I was very inspired by, but I um, this was actually in the mail on, my, on its way to me when I started my matchboxes. So I had uh, wrapped them up in Prima paper. So all of these, one of them's painted. I just painted it with paint, um, but the rest of them I did um, Prima papers for the backgrounds. So this one is the only one that's really not, um, the theme isn't that Sweet Sentiments paper, but it's awfully cute anyway. Um, you know, I'm trying shabby chic. I don't think I'm quite shabby chic. I love it. I love all the uh, laces and all the stuff you guys create. Um, and I'm, I'm still trying it. Um, I don't think anything really uh, that I do turns out shabby chic though. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I love, I think this is adorable. I'm really happy with these. They turn out so cute. Um, I watched a lot of, most of the videos when you enter it into YouTube, there were a lot of video responses to Scrap and Happy XO. And this was back a year ago in May of 13. She did a challenge for um, a vintage Christmas, I think it was. Um, and lots of videos, lots of lace and beautiful stuff. Uh, and Bonnie, I just wanted to mention this, Bonnie uh, Sassy Scrappers, video, she specifically mentioned that when she added her beads, because I wasn't sure how to do this, um, she used an eye pin through the bead, so this is an eye pin attached to a jump ring, and then used a little spacer bead and just twisted the end of the eye pin, and that was how she made her, um, her top and bottom part there to hang the bead dangle and stuff. So. Thank you so much, Bonnie. I use that technique and it's wonderful. It works amazing. So uh, this is my first one. I better stop yapping. But I, all I, I wish you guys have that chunky glitter and stuff. And I'm not, I haven't really tried that technique yet. I just still use stickles for the most part. So I just kind of wiped it on. I put it on my um, craft mat and just wipe it on everything. But this is super cute. So inside I did put a little something inside. This one has the B and it says Journey with some more bling and some of the paper line because the little B there inspired me to put the B in there. And I'm doing my little dangles with that Made With Love key uh, hole with the heart and the little key. And actually these keys came from Michael's and I'm going over there today because they're having a really good sale on some things I need. And um, yeah, I'm going to look. It's the red, it was the red tag bead landing bead. So I'm going to look for more of them because I love this. I love, it's like such a, a matching set. So anyway, all right, that's my first one. I'm getting crazy. Uh, but these are adorable. So this is my second one. And Bonnie had also used these like uh, lobster claws, these huge lobster claws. Hers had hearts and I do have them, but this was sitting in my uh, bead tray. This chain and everything was already there. So um, I just threw that on this one to see what that would be like. Tied a little matching ribbon to the top. Um, but this is one of the images from the paper line. So there's the girls and they have their bunny, their Easter bunny. And it was, they had purples in there. There's a lovely like lavender page and stuff. So I went with all my purple trims. And I'm telling you, a lot of these are just my cheapy trims. They're not anything fancy. They had to be small. So I really like pulled out all my small stuff. Um, and it's just adorable. These are from somewhere, and I have a bunch of colors in these. And Oh, they're Michaels. They're Michaels, too. Um, they're in, like, the $1.50 bin there. So that's the front. That's the back. I just put something on the back of every one, all of them. And this is just um, that really cheesy uh, rose uh, from Hobby Lobby. So anyway, and then inside this one, I have a little house that says home and a heart. I love home. And those are those, uh, they're wooden, the wooden um, 
shapes their recollections. I've had them forever and haven't used them, so. And there's a little bead dangle, so super cute. And this one's I did in blues, because I never do anything in blue, and this was just so sweet. Um, oh, these little pearls, I have to say, are lavish laces, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I hope I'm right. Oh, man. They're these tiny little, I got three colors in this tiny little uh, flatback pearls. They're so cute. Super for this project, because they have to be little, you know? And then this is just a piece of my lace that I cut off the little flower and put another flower on the back. And this is like the Michaels trim. I'm telling you, all this stuff is just really cheap Michaels trim. But this is blingy. I don't know if you can see that. It's so pretty. Um, and then I stickled my little flowers. I love these flowers. I have to get more of them. They are super cute. Little bow. And that says Easter greetings on it. It's a little chicky coming out of the egg with a pearl and a um, rondelle and some ribbon and then you pull it out and there's just another chicky in there just a smaller version of that without the words and I, I just put stickles around it a little bit of the pearl bling so cute I love these I just think they turned out so precious this is so cute they took a while to make too these are a lot of work for as small as they are because you kind of have to figure out what you want. Like, prepping them was easy. Like, you just cover them with paper. And actually, this one, I tried the shabby chic. Is this the one? I think so, yeah. Because, like, I put a little bit of um, white paint around the corners. You can kind of see that. So, I tried the shabby chic it a little. This is just a cheap um, lace trim that I put. Um, this is a sweet little trim. I love this. These little rosebuds. And this came in a pack with, like, a bunch of different pink trim so they were perfect for these projects I love it now this might be shabby chic I don't know this little uh, birdie is one of those wooden pieces I hadn't used but they're perfect because they're small the roses this trim comes with a bunch of white and then the pearls and ribbon I hope you can see this okay because I'm looking around the camera and then inside I just put cherubs uh, an image from the paper line and a heart, a bling heart. That's a Jesse James bead. I love them too. Oh my gosh. So this is my favorite, the last one. They did, they took a while, but they're worth it. These are super sweet. I love them. All right. So, of course, uh, the cherub is the center stage there. This pink little lace, adorable. It's from, I'm telling you, the same five pack, five pick pieces of pink these are just my big flatback pearls from Hobby Lobby some flowers I think this is from Hobby Lobby too. this white one I put an angel on the bottom with a big old pink pearl uh, pink crystal down there these wings are from Hobby Lobby and they are this right here the jewelry shop they come in gold and I just painted them white it's light ivory actually and I rub stickles all over them put a rosette with a little bling in the middle so cute these little flowers I know people get these from Etsy stores but these are just the ones from the bead section at Michaels and let's see what I put inside this one just a heart with love and some more of that um, rosette trim that really uh, that was around the edge of this one so that's my matchboxes guys aren't they adorable oh my gosh they're so cute I don't really want to part with these like these are my babies right now like I if I was making these for a swap man I would be I'd be sad because <laughs> I wouldn't want to let them go they're so cute um well that's it for today guys I have other things I'm working on but these were so fun oh my gosh my beads are coming today my tulips and stuff that I ordered so I might have to play with beads again all right well that's it for now thanks for watching